has finally released his debut album under the name Scary Pool Party. The album's called Exit Form. Exit Form. So I discovered Alejandro just like most people on the show, and I saw his audition and when, the fact that he did a, original songs, unlike most people, and there were great original songs. Like a genius, he he is a genius. So after the show, he didn't win the show, but I knew he was gonna have a great career. But I remember on that show that he was on, they asked, "What are your music influences?" And the first thing he said was Trent Reznor. And then excuse me, he named some other people, some classical musicians. I can't remember the exact composers he named after Trent Reznor, but see, I know Trent Reznor. I know a lot of people that watch that show. They're, that, that name probably flew over their heads, but not me. They probably thought, who's Trent Reznor? Is that just another classic composer? No, no, Trent Reznor. Nine Inch Nails. Nine Inch Nails. So I'm like, okay, I know what he really is. That's what I'm thinking. Cause you, if you're influenced by Trent Reznor, I know what you really want to do with your music, and it's not just that poppy stuff. Nothing wrong, cause I love the poppy stuff that he did. That's the reason I liked him in the first place. But he did showcase the fact that he was great on the piano, not just a clap, not, not just an average piano player. You know? He was very, kind of unorthodox in a great way. Playing piano and guitar and writing his own music, he didn't win the show which was kind of controversial, but I'm, I'm like, I knew he was going to still have a great career under the name Scary Pool Party, but after that, that was months ago, I stopped looking into him, I kind of forgot about him, honestly, because I already had my own in music that I liked before all that, and I, the fact that he didn't release anything new for months, I'm, I just, I was back to my old looking for music that I already know about and love, and then, Yesterday, my friend messages me. He's like, hey, you remember Alejandro Aranda, that guy? He released his album. And I'm just like, oh. I kind of was not that excited at first because, you know, that he released it on the same day as a bunch of other big albums. Well, not a bunch, of, but a few albums that came out today, yesterday, basically. So, I'm like, yeah, are my expectations going to be too high? And shout out to George, he's the one that reminded me that this album came out. So yeah, I finally checked it out though. And it is way better than I expected it to be. I know I don't... Because I thought he was going to just keep doing that. Too poppy stuff. No, nothing wrong with that. He's really good at it. But I'm glad he did what I thought he was going to do. On the f most... On most of the album, basically. He does include a lot of the songs that he released during that show and stuff that he's already released years ago before like remastered studio versions of it like out loud the song he did on his audition those poppy songs but the rest of the album basically the first part of the album are the new stuff and what i'm talking about is the trent reznor influence stuff let me get to that now i want to talk about a few i'm not even gonna like talk in depth about all the tracks that you know about like out loud and cholo love I, was cholo love on this i think it was was it I just listened to it. I know one of the songs had love because I remember it was my favorite song. It's but it wasn't Cholo Love. I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, th let me just talk about these tracks, these new tracks. The first track on the album is Black Cross. Instantly, the Nine Inch Nails vibe. Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails, industrial rock vibe, downward spiral of the album from Trent Reznor's Nine Inch Nails. Sounds like this song could be on that album. Very industrial and intense and not what you'd expect if, if you just expect stuff like Out Loud. It's intense. It's over six minute long song and it's epic. I love it. It's intense. Next song is basically the same thing. Diamonds. Another Nine Inch Nails influence song, obviously. I knew it. I said, I heard him say Trent Reznor was his influence and now he shows it on this song. And this one's more catchy too, Diamonds, it's actually, it's really catchy. The first song's not really, it could be catchy to some people, but most people would probably consider it just loud. But I, I think it's, these first two songs are catchy. Still, most of the album is actually catchy. Next song, uh, let's dance, dance, dance the night away. Yeah, and when I saw the title, I was like, okay, this is going to be the first just major pop song on the album. But it wasn't, 
but it did have an 80s industrial vibe, less of a 90s one from Nine Inch Nails, but more of the late 80s Nine Inch Nails, pretty hate machine. I'm, not, I'm gonna keep bringing it up because a lot of this album sounds like it's Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor influenced, Exit Form. Even that in title sounds like something Trent Reznor would put on a title of something. But yeah. Next song though. Oh yeah, yeah. Previous song, Dance the Night Away, really great, really great. But the next song, Vampire, the Vampire Shade. That's the name, Vampire Shade. Just seeing the title, I already knew that it was going to be a gothic style song, and it was. It's the gothic industrial song, and I love the sound. It's, he has beautiful vocals on it, too. His voice really sounds great with his gothic vibe on this song. And I love gothic stuff already. I think I said that. Like, gothic music, gothic movies, The Cure, like that. Like, Disintegration, other Cure albums. Love this. Vampire Shade. Great gothic industrial song. Next song I want to mention, we'll talk about for a second. What's it called? Beneath the Skin. Beneath the Skin. Mm -mm. This one's a beautiful mess. A beautiful piano mess in some of it. And it's, it's like, I don't know what to say. It's, it's all over the place and it's beautiful. And his piano is all over the place. Just like this, he showed on that show unorthodox and it sounds good and this song also made me think of the album black star by david bowie parts of that album check it out you'll know what i'm talking about maybe if you listen to this song and you listen to that album yeah beneath the skin black star vibes all right next song heart heart storm i think that was the title oh yeah heart storm this one is gorgeous. Every song on the album is gorgeous. And this one is special. But something about this song, yeah, it's the his singing is really great, but the last part of the song it's not it doesn't really sing, it's just the instrumentation, the production of the last part of the song. It's beautiful and sad and mesmerizing and it's just beautiful. The instrumentation, the production of the last part of the song. You'll know what I'm talking about when you hear it. Heart Shade. With a Heart Storm. Heart Storm. That's the title of the song. The last part of the song is just so great. Alright, the last song I want to mention though and talk about is my favorite song, Millennial Love. That's what I'm talking about. That had the word love in it. Millennial Love. I gotta go check it back on the track list and again if the other song was on the album though. But Millennial Love, yeah. That sounds like the closest thing to the pop stuff that he did before and the industrial Trent Reznor stuff combined. That's what this song sounds like. It's very catchy. Sounds like it could be a hit single. That's all I want to say. Millennial Love should be a hit single. Should be released as a single. It should have a music video or whatever. It could be a major hit. Millennial Love. And that's it. It's some, if you're a fan of the show and you liked his poppy stuff, this might have, you know, been a surprise for you. But if you knew, like I did, when you heard him say Trent Reznor, I expected it, and I hoped he would do it, and he did it with this album. He he just he did what he wanted to do. He's not like I'm. Just, he's not. I'm gonna make a pop album. No, I'm gonna make what I want to make. That's what he did. Exit form, scary pool party, nine out of ten. Industrial, industrial, amazing, beautiful, and that's it. I loved it. Nine out of ten. Tell me what you thought of the album in the comments. What are your favorite songs? Did he surprise you, like I said? Did he not surprise you? Did you just not like the album? Did you love the album like I did? Whatever. What are your favorite songs? And that's it. I give it a 9 out of 10. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it so more people can see it, and hopefully you hit subscribe so that this channel can grow. Thank you for watching.